This is Rose. Today's topic from the Book of Life is In teaching a son to become a man, what is the woman's role? Because the narrative has changed from one generation to the next, it's apparent that men is no longer teaching their sons how to become a gentleman. And the concept of becoming a man has changed. Because the narrative has changed, mothers are teaching, are stepping in to teach their sons how to respect and treat a woman. Let's take a look at the short story from the Book of Life. Twin sisters, Melinda and Belinda, give birth to their first child within a month apart. Both give birth to sons. Melinda is the oldest twin by 10 minutes. Her son was born one month before her nephew. Although the twins are married, they are really close. Both live in the same neighborhood, approximately one mile in distance. They both work for the same company. Their husbands are happy. The twins are each other's best friend because they don't have to deal with their wives, girlfriend drama, or constantly hearing their wives saying, my friend said this or that about you, or saw you doing this or that, or saw you walking with this lady or that lady. We know how it goes. The drama starts when your girlfriend see that you got it going on with your mate without any drama. So they got to come in and bring some drama. So these twins' husband love the fact that they are each other's best friends and they don't have to deal with the girlfriend drama or because the husbands like hanging out together they are okay with their family taking vacations getaways together it was no surprise to the husbands when they found out their wives were pregnant at the same time. They called it a twin thing. It was a twin thing. Especially when people asked them was it planned by the twins to become pregnant at the same time. They would just say, shake their head and say that's a twin thing. No one can understand that but twins. The twins combined their gender reveal party. Both families were surprised to find out both were having boys. In the words of the husbands, it's a twin thing. Don't try to figure it out. When Melinda's son was three months old, both families had a combined sip and see party. They invited their closest friends and their families. At the party, they played a spin the bottle card game. Guests took turns spending the bottle on a huge board. The person who spins the bottle had to pull the top card from the deck facing the mouth of the bottle when it stopped. There were several decks of cars going around the board. The spinner had to read out loud the question on the card they pulled. The spinner could answer the question or pass the question to someone else who wanted to answer the question. A guest pulls a card with the following question. In teaching a son to become a man, 
What is the woman's role? This question caused such an uproar. The rules of the game was no longer followed. Everyone had an opinion. The only questions that matter, the only opinions that mattered the most were the fathers of the sons being honored at the sip and see. The men shouted in unison over and over again that old cliche that we constantly hear from a man. A woman cannot teach a boy how to become a man. Melinda and Belinda husbands had, a, had to silence everyone so that they can speak. Because like I said, their opinions was really the only ones that matters when it came to their sons. Belinda's husband, that's the younger twin. She was born 10 minutes later than her older sister. So Belinda's husband spoke first. He vowed that he will be the only one teaching his son how to become a man. Period. He states, it's not my wife's responsibility. Period. Melinda's husband opinion was slightly different. He also vowed to teach his son how to become a man. However, he made a statement about lacking in key components of manhood because of the absence of his father. So he tells the crowd because he lacked in key components of manhood because of the absence of his father, he stated his wife was very patient with him when they first started dating because he was lacking in the gentleman skills. He didn't know how to be a gentleman. And he went on to express what he was talking about. He said, I had to learn how to handle my wife in a manner that was different from how I handle my homies. He wasn't ashamed to let everyone know that it was his wife who actually taught him skills in being a gentleman. From the mouth of Melinda's husband, he states, My wife taught me to open doors for her, to pull her chair out in the restaurant before she sits, to walk on the side of traffic down the street with her, to carry heavy items for her, to take out the trash, especially when she is the one cleaning the entire house for us both, to make sure her car has gas and the maintenance is up to date. To be mindful of my voice and tone when I had a bad day at work. She should not be the scapegoat to lash out on because of my bad day. She helps me understand I am to give to my queen what she is giving to me, which is respect, peace, joy, and love. My wife taught me how something as simple as clear communication can prevent misunderstandings by jumping to the wrong conclusion based on false perceptions. He says, let me tell you all this. These principles I learned from my wife is the primary cause of us having a loving, happy, and successful marriage for 10 years. He says, for this reason, 
I feel my wife played an important role in raise plays would play an important role. My wife would play an important role in raising our son and becoming a gentleman. As far as becoming a man in the aspects of protecting, providing, and how he is to move about in the streets or among his buddies, he said, I got this. I don't need my wife for that. I got this. By the time the two cousins, and we're talking about the twins, their sons. So by the time these two cousins was 25, the boys have grown up. They're not babies anymore. They're 25 years old. Belinda's son has a total of five kids by the time he's 25. He has a total of five kids with four baby mamas. Now, if you remember, Belinda was the one whose husband spoke first, and he declared when he spoke that he vowed that he would be the only one teaching his son how to become a man, period. He states, it is not my wife's responsibility, period. That was his statement. But his son, he taught him well, I guess, because he has five kids with four baby mamas. And that's not to take away from him teaching his son. Because sometimes you can teach your kids something. You can you can instill something in them. And they're going to go astray and do their own thing. But at least you planted that seed. You, 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 you did what you were supposed to do as a parent. But still something was lacking there. Because five kids, four baby mamas. He does... He does not get along. Now this is Belinda's son. He does not get along with any of his baby mamas or pay any child support. He feels it is the mother job to raise the kids. Therefore, he declines going to school events, giving his kids birthday parties, taking them to the local park, to amusement parks or anything that involves him being alone with his kids. Now that's where I think his father teaching him how to become a man, you know, shows in his son. And like I said, I know you can teach your kids some things, some principles, and they stray away from it. But to this degree, some, some of this has to reflect on whatever teaching the father put in him. You know, maybe he just taught him how to be, how to walk the streets and how to, how to move a mom, his buddies. And, and, and maybe that's, that was the manhood he taught him. I don't know. But some of this or what he's doing, not even being a father to his kids, not want to be alone with them and feel like that's the mother's responsibility. Don't want to take them nowhere. No. Something is not right about that manhood. And he hangs out in the streets with his homies when he's not working his security job. That's Belinda's son. Now Melinda's son has been married for two years. Him and his wife gave birth to twins. Twins run in the family. Melinda's sons and daughter-in-law both work for major corporation. So her son and her daughter-in-law, the son and his wife, they have good jobs. They both work for major corporations they have a loving, close family unit. So that that's the one who father felt like the woman. Melinda's husband felt the woman plays a role in teaching the son how to become a gentleman. 
And like he said, he got it when it comes to teaching his son how to, you know, walk those streets and, and become a man and, 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 and how to move about around his homies, homies and stuff like that. He said he, he got that. I can teach him how to become a man. I'm a man. But I was lacking the skills in becoming a gentleman. So my wife taught me that. And there's a difference in how the sons turned out because he believed in allowing his wife to share that responsibility. Let her instill in her son how to treat and respect a woman. So they shared that responsibility. And it showed that it paid off because he has been married for two years. Him and his wife, they just gave birth to twins. They gave birth to a boy and a girl, and they both work for major corporations, and they have a close, loving family union. That's beautiful. As Belinda, see, see now Belinda want to reflect back on how similar her and her twin sister lifestyles were. She couldn't help but realize the difference in how they raised their sons. That was the difference. They, their lifestyle was so similar. They was each other best friend. They was close to each other. They agree on everything together. They took family vacations together with their spouses and so forth and their kids. But the only thing that was different in their life was how they raise their kids, their sons. She couldn't help. Belinda couldn't help but to realize that that was the difference. She realized it, it set the tone for their, for their son's future. The way, the difference in how they raised them is what set the tone for their son's future. Belinda makes it a point now. She makes it a point in, in discussions to ask all current and future mamas and papas what tone are they setting for their kids. The power is in your hands, in your hands alone, she will tell them. Your kids are depending on you to pave the way that is in their best interest. To pave a way that is in their best interest. Now she wanna she wanna give wisdom to the up to you know the young people, the the new generation. You know, she wanna give them that wisdom that she didn't give to her son. And and so she's letting them know that the power is in your hands and yours alone. Nobody can tell you. But I'm, I'm going to give you some advice and I'm going to let you know that, hey, when you're raising your kids, you got to set an example and you paving the way that is for their best interest. They, you are what they look at and they, they emulate, they want to be like, and you got to put into them, feed into them, into their spirit, what it is that how they should go, whether they follow it or not. So now she's preaching to the new generation. She tells them all after she gives them some advice, you know, because she's she does charity work and she speaks at nonprofits and she talks to the new generations. And now she wants to give back by just telling them what she Locked in what she did not do, and she just tells them all that's what you have to take notice and, and, and look at your past in order to know how to feed into your child to give them better, to speak into their spirit and into their life and give them better where you see where it lacked in your, uh, your life. So she tells them all that she, and I honor you, I salute you. She said, young people, take notice 
Be blessed in your journey as parents, but make sure you put into your child life good principles that they can follow. And make sure you're on one accord with your husband. And when you're not, discuss it with him in private so that y'all can get on one accord. Because if you disagree with your husband because he feel that it's all his job and you can't teach a, a boy how to become a, a gentleman, discuss it with him, settle it with him so that y'all can get on one accord and you can you know grow learn teach your child to become this person that has good principles and values click the thumbs up and the subscribe button be blessed and be safe peace people remember to click that thumbs up button